Hey everyone, it is currently the 16th of June 2011 and coming to you to discuss a 6.6 .6, uh, earthquake that just took place off the coast of New Britain here, uh, Papua New Guinea, New Britain, and it took place at approximately 0336 UTC time or approximately 1003 local here. And just noting this was a 6.6 .6 magnitude, a relatively shallow earthquake as well at only about 21 kilometers deep. If we continue to zoom in on here, you can see it took place just along the subduction zone just off towards the southeast here and right up near the coast here so a very sparsely populated region through this entire area here but the people that do live in this region definitely did feel this earthquake and actually if we continue to zoom in there is a few towns right along the coast here of Yuval, Maso and Mangi. Now these population areas right in here are actually very native and uh, especially these are mainly small vill fishing village towns throughout this entire area as well. But as already stated these people definitely did feel a strong to heavy uh, earthquake out here actually indicating down here and this uh, uh, orange becoming the red right in here a moderate the heavy earthquake and this is from USGS just a model programming right near the coast are indicating that heavier uh, feel out in here and just basically due to the uh, shallowness of this earthquake and how close it is to shore here now another thing I do want to mention is that there is a possibility of a light to small tsunami here right up near the coast and if this tsunami would have already taken place if it was going to uh, the coastal regions of New Britain right in here only a five minute travel time from initiation of the earthquake so really would have already affected those towns already noted in here but just also mentioning just due to the size of this earthquake and its shallowness though a uh, tsunami if it did happen would have only been less than one meter actually a relatively shallow tsunami would have occurred right in here uh, actually indicated here on the size really you don't see anything built up on here so I do want to mention that as well but there could be a potential of a larger tsunami if this did trigger an underwater landslide those also kind of make uh, larger tsunamis in these localized areas and also I do want to mention PTWC or the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center LA Bulletin uh, stating no destructive widespread tsunami threat exists based on historical or earthquake tsunami data but however these localized ones can uh, happen uh, perhaps in 100 kilometers from the earthquake center basically along those coastal areas as already mentioned so the uh, people in those localized areas I'm sure are well aware of the risk actually this photo coming from a panorama is off of Google here just showing the sparseness of the area very rainforest and tropical type region just showing some of the villages in this area as well and as I noted the people are well aware of this risk is mainly because earthquakes happen all the time here and some small, small tsunamis do wash up on the shores uh, here just showing the overall earthquakes uh, since 1990 so many many small earthquakes this is of all sizes out here but if you go back as far as 1900 these are all the 7.0 magnitude earthquakes or larger taking place along the subduction boundary here of uh, New Britain and New Ireland and all the way up towards Papua New Guinea here and uh, some very large earthquakes in the mix in here actually these are 8.0s or larger these larger circles so uh, still and uh, not really uncommon to feel earthquakes of this magnitude but still one of those situations that need to be watched and monitored because it does have the potential for uh, and some destruction another thing I do want to mention and lastly is potential for some landslides out the satellite imagery here just indicating some heavy rain showers just north of uh, New Britain right up in here and also indicating some light rain showers just over the island here as well here in green so anytime you have these rain showers combined with a moderate to uh, and shallow earthquake it will loosen up the uh, soil on the surface and also this combined with the uh, medium grade out here of the uh, mountains and not such you will have the potential for some landslides or mudslides if these rain showers do pick up so I do want to mention that as well but that is all for right now if you have any questions comments or suggestions as usual you can post them here at earthquaketechreport.com if you go scroll down below there's uh, plenty of different ways to uh, post your comments in here including uh, Facebook or just posting via the website so thanks again for listening everybody stay safe out there and I hope you have a great day bye